Hello guys, I'm ZH815 here, and we're going to do something a bit different than what I normally do on my channel, which is normally review games way late, or look at games that are really weird, or, or just Asian, same difference. But no! Obviously, if you're at all interested in gaming, and even if you're not completely interested in gaming, but just watch maybe even the news, I don't watch the news, so I don't know what's going on there. Probably just something about the Middle East and terrorism, or, or that prism thing, but... No, let's go on to the brighter side of things. E3 is happening this week, and yesterday, I'm recording this on June 11th, 2013, not 2014, 2012, no, but 2013, and Xbox, or Microsoft, had their conference, and Sony also had their conference. Yeah. And, obviously, the big stories for each one is their introduction of a new console for the next generation of, of consoles, not people. Huh? Well, maybe people too, but mostly just consoles. And, so, the Xbox One, PS4, which would be better. A lot of people are saying that PS4 is going to be better because of the bad press and the horrible, like, conference they had, like, before E3 about the Xbox One and about how it was TV, 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 sports, and PS4... But when PS4 conference earns for games, like, why didn't they show the console? That's what they complained about the whole bloody time. Oh, we didn't see the console, you only showed us games, how dare you? And then, Xbox One only showed you the console, no games. So like, uh, how dare you not show us anything about games? I feel like we're giving companies mixed signals. Maybe it's our problem. No, we, we wouldn't take responsibility for that. That's not who we are, we're gamers, right? Oh, God. That sounded horrible, because no, not even gamers want me to call gamers. But let's go on to the details of the Xbox One. So they showed a bunch of games. They showed games for the Xbox One, and also game not for the for a game for the 360 for some reason. But I don't know. That maybe that's showing that they'll have support for it. That was um, Dark Souls 2, which looks like Dark Souls 1, but I guess better, maybe on the. Yeah, we just released a new. We're gonna release a new console. Let's put a let's put a game on the old one still. Yeah, odd business practice. Maybe they're thinking that's not gonna sell very well. I mean, I could understand if it was on all of the systems, but it sounded like it was only on like the current generation, not the new ones. And so things that the games and obviously there were some technical difficulties on their side with that. Like, um, Crimson Dragons, no sound, which is unfortunate, because I like Panzer Dragon. I had, um, Dreamcast. I for God, I forgot what the, um, title after, the after, ti the after title was, but I'm sure you know and correct me in the comments. And they also had Battlefield 4 that didn't work, and they showed Forza and how it's has creepy driver, Drivatron Terminator guy. Who learns how you drive so you don't have to play anymore? Don't hit your fingers. Play in the games. Yeah, and they also released that the price of the console is 499 US dollars or 499 euros or 499 every single type of currency, which doesn't make sense. Why? Well, if you lived under a rock or just used bottle caps as currency, you probably do not know that every single dollar increment, be it the US dollar, well, I guess it's not called the euro, dollar, the euro, and the pound, they all have different values, like, if this costs 499 Zimbabwe dollars, then this thing, I'm gonna go buy 20 of them if it's Zimbabweans, but it's not Zim Zimbabweans, Zimbabweans, yes, if it's not 499 Zimbabweans, then I don't want the Xbox One, no, yeah, and that's gonna cause controversy, because you're making them pay more, and people are gonna bring up the fact that the European prices include taxes, sales tax. I'm not European, so I don't know what you call it there, across the world. And the U.S. prices, they don't include it, so that someone averaged, people have averaged out, saying, oh, it's around the same, but... Hey, what about Australia, huh? Yeah, and their overpricedness of everything. So maybe Europe shouldn't feel so bad because they're only paying, like, 20 extra dollars as opposed to a thousand extra dollars, or whatever, in Australian monies. Pretty sure they're just Monopoly money, or koalas. And, <laughs> okay, where am I going with this? Oh, it's scheduled in just November, but we already, like, knew that. And they also try to show a lot of integration with tablet. 
with like the surface and other things a lot of things show that and they also showed exclusive and that's the thing like I'm I Xbox one has a lot of exclusives they also tried to show that they love indies but look billion dollar Microsoft Corporation showing me one indie game and also displaying the fact that you found the in the small indie hit I'm just gonna I, I'm gonna point it out to you I'm a, I was gonna not say the name but you probably have never heard of it it's called Minecraft pretty indie man pretty pretty hipster and indie not many people heard of it bringing that to xbox one yeah microsoft need a bit more indie cred it's bad when sony's beating you in that because sony's also a big old corporation it's probably older than older than you microsoft step up your game now yeah so they announced a bunch of exclusives and Games that weren't exclusive previously sound, are sounding to be that they're now exclusive to the Xbox One. Some that caught my eye was Dead Rising 3, which is now very gritty. And you can pick up anything as a weapon, so why don't we pick up the gun? Oh. Yeah. Okay. That does, That's not as exciting as I thought it'd be. How about, like, a toilet? I think you could have passed by a bathroom in that uh, display of the game. Or how about even a piece of fence, a 2x4 or something, because, I mean, that's not completely original. Or a tire? How about a zombie's arm? Um, a gun? Okay. Well, could you beat someone with that phone, Your that Windows 8 phone? No, you're just going to call an airstrike with it, because in the zombie apocalypse of Dead Rising 3, they have an abundance of military airstrikes to call with your certified Windows 8 smartphone by Nokia. I assume Nokia, because I don't know any other company that makes smartphones for Windows. <laughs> yeah, ah, uh, that seems a bit gimmicky, but if they like actually do the Windows Phone integration or any phone integration. Okay, where am I going with this? Yeah, so they have lot of exclusives, and I'll give them for that. They didn't really cover the odd used game situations, but that 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 was kind of the Microsoft co conference in a very summarized kind of rude nutshell. Now the Sony conference, it was kind of, they showed off, they showed the console, that's the big thing. They showed the console and they display it to us, what it looks like. It's basically a rhombus version of the Xbox One. It's like we got, if it was really windy and we blew on the Xbox One from one side and just kind of, kind of got slid over or something, that's, so guess what? You got all you people on the internet who were making fun of Xbox One. What are you gonna do now? They're both they both look like VCRs, huh? Yeah, you're in a tricky situation now. We could say one's a big VCR. <laughs> we could we could keep making jokes about how Xbox One has to be connected to the internet, but they've kind of said that that's not completely true. I'm not saying that we should trust them right now because they're not very they're not answering us. What the hell is going on? But. Anyways, on to Sony, they announced, well, they showed the PS4 console, looks like a rhombus, already covered that, and they also showed the price of it, and they showed games, some games, not many, I can't, that's the issue though, I could not think, I cannot think of a game that stood out to me in the Sony press conference. Is that bad? Is that bad for you, Sony, that I can't think of a game? A thing they did confirm, well, Sony confirmed, is that you will, they, they will support used games, and really, I mean, people were chanting, like, Sony, Sony, like, they're the heroes of humanity and gaming, they're allowing us to do something that everyone else has been allowing us to do. Why aren't we cheering for the Wii U? Why aren't we going, Nintendo, Nintendo, no. It's because it was a standard. A standard. I mean, that doesn't... I don't know why we're cheering for something that should just be a standard. Uh, I'm trying to think, what else did they say? Oh, they did say that the Elder Scrolls Online will be on PS4. Um, I believe they showed some more Watch Dogs gameplay. Which, nothing really, nothing really exciting about that. The price, I will say, is $3.99 USD. But it's... But the euros, 349. And also, not region lock. So if it really is an issue for you, go to Amazon, or Amazon, however you pronounce it. Go there and buy it. And they will deliver it to you. And shipping's probably like $15. 
PS4, um, another thing is that PS4's PlayStation Plus, which for, if you don't know what it is, it's a, basically Sony's equivalent to Xbox Gold, except it's not mandatory on the PS3 or Vita, you just get free games, monthly, and free bonuses, and discounts, and things like that, for, f like, five dollars a month, but you have to buy it, obviously, in monthly packages, not in a single month. And that wasn't mandatory for the PS3, but they are saying now that for PlayStation 4, you're gonna have to do that. But, as opposed to the Xbox, in which you have to pay just to even do, like, other things that you pay for, like, say, your Netflix, you can't watch Netflix on your Xbox without paying for gold, things like that, Hulu, Netflix, and stuff that's outside the realm of Sony that, like, other subscription fees, you can access online things like that. You just can't play your Call of Duties and Call of Duties online and things like that. They also announced, like, exclusives that have already been announced, like, Infamous and things like that. But we, we already knew about that because they showed games, and I think that's why it felt like the Xbox conference had more games, is because Sony had already shown a lot of their games. And maybe that's why we should, like, think about hard. Are we at even footing yet? No, we're not, because the freaking Kinect's gonna spy on you, but... Are we at almost not completely lopsided footed? Foot, footage? Footing? Eh. No, no, right now, Sony is clearly in the lead. And I'm going to end up getting both consoles, but right now... The things going towards Sony's way are its price, which is, it's learned from the previous generation where the PS3, which I may have purchased for like $700, oh my god, I'm choking up about this, oh boy, oh boy, yeah, that's, that was expensive, and I couldn't afford an Xbox on release because of that, I got one like a month or two later, in the end, but, they've learned from it, I mean, it could it, could I think it'd be funny if it turned out that Sony just, like, instantly, like, once they saw Microsoft's pricing and people complained about that, they're like, quick, change this right now, zing, 399 cut off 100 bucks off the top. They've also, oh, God, how did I forget this, though? The thing, the things that, um, the thing about, I think another reason why the games were, like, less exciting for me, for Sony, is that the games that they announced that are coming have already been released or I've already played and I think that's interesting like it's gonna be good if you I play a lot of PC games and get into like those early betas or my friends get into them and they give me their extra invites because I'm the unlucky luckiest person on the planet I get the, the, I get their invites and like the beta things and a lot of these things that are coming to the PlayStation 4 are free to play games that are already on PC or an alpha or beta such as Warframe Blacklight Retribution, both really good games, um, and DC Universe Online, things like that. Poof, that's crazy. The Elder Scrolls Online, that's bazonkers. That's a word I just made up now, but that is crazy. Honestly, if like if you don't have a good PC, that may be the major selling point of your uh. Your, X, your, your Xbox, your PlayStation 4s, see? Yeah. That's right, I think that's why I'll probably go if I had to pick one console first right now. PS4, but people already pre-ordering, you're bad. Horrible people, because you're going too early. We don't know almost anything. Wait! What is the rush? What's the difference between you pre-ordering seven months in advance? Seven months, oh god. One second path. Four months in advance? Yeah, sorry. Sorry, guys. If you pre-ordered seven months in advance, I assume you're a time traveler. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, what are we gonna... Cut this! If this is not cut me future editing me, cut this. It's not gonna be cut, I'm too lazy to do that. <laughs> so in short, I'm kind of rambling on about this stuff, like... I'll hopefully in this video there'll be like a display like a graph or something comparing and I'm gonna list things off like price 399 to 499 USD because look just do the math if you're lazy you Europeans 
<laughs> you repeat. And then it's gonna be like use games. It's gonna be like Sony's all like hell yeah, and Xbox One, Microsoft's gonna be like we're not really saying it yet. Shh. And there'll be other things like exclusives. It'll be like all Xbox One stuff because Xbox One looks to have like more exclusive exclusives, like not on any other thing exclusives. While Sony, who I thought was gonna be like the king of exclusivity because they have like 18 studios and they just buy them all, but they're, they're kind of losing them, which is unfortunate. Like the infamous devs. Is it the infamous devs? Oh god. You're gonna tell me in the comments below which one was it? Was it Naughty Dog? Definitely Naughty Dog. I wanna say it's the infamous devs that actually just released a game pretty recently, like third person shooter, that I haven't heard anything about, so I don't know how that went. <laughs> yeah, they're normally the head of them, but it looks to be that the Xbox has bu Xbox 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 has bought out all the developers and publishers, like. EA Sports was at their place, like, yo, I mean, we're not pointing out the fact that these games will be available on other systems, but we're gonna show you all our stuff here, and then, and then it didn't work, because the, the video wouldn't play, but, it's karma, no, it isn't karma, there's no karma involved in this, it's just business, just business, <laughs> I mean, the only exclusives on the PS4 are, are like, Killzone, Drive Club, and like that, game is it called knack where he's like the dude like the guy who like separates into little marbles <laughs> and like the exclusives they're tousing on the playstation 4 are things that are already on pc or are going to be on pc that are free to play games which is less than amazing on sony's part but we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes yeah so in short do not pre-order anything yeah, you heard me. Why are you doing it so early? We have no idea. As far as we know, Sony could be lying this whole time. Now I know that you're got some like lawyer or fake lawyer in the comments will be like, oh, then we could just sue him for stuff. It's like, yeah, you can, but like hypothetically, they could be lying about everything. That could just be a cardboard box. So be warned, be warned. But right now, Sony's definitely ahead in this console war that hasn't even that house it's crazy it's already started so much that the consoles are months from being released like everything could still change so if you're pre-ordering the consoles it's ps4 is number one on amazon right now or for consoles not everything something dirty is going to be number one for everything but that's absurd and just shows you how gamers as a whole, yes, I know, and everyone is different, everyone is special, but that means no one is, but... Come on! Fine, lots of us are not very bright that we, that you did this. I mean... Really? 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 I mean, come on! Oh, you're just making me angry. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm sure you'll spout your opinions below, and I'll love to yell and scream at you through text using the caps lock. I'm gonna do a video about the uh, next day of conferences stuff as well, so you'll see that coming soon. Uh, probably not soon. I may just forget about it. Like this video. This video is gonna not come out on the 11th. It's gonna be like come out way later when no one gives a damn and the consoles have already been released. <sighs> see you next time.